Hello and welcome to a very special episode of The Good, The Scars and The Rugby brought to you by Vodafone. We're out in the wild. And this is Mo Hunt's home ground. Uh, we're in town because her team is playing Emily's team and we had to be here to witness it for ourselves. Unfortunately for us, Emily's not actually playing today. And so I'll awkwardly have to watch the game with her and I'm not sure which side I'm supporting yet. So we'll have to figure that out as we go today. Um, in other news, we will also be speaking to some of Mo's teammates because they've got a few fun girls over here these days and we need to catch up with, among others, Maud Muir. Um, and then Sean Lynn, uh, the head of women's rugby and um, Mo's boss, or is it the other way around, I'm not sure, is also joining us. And so we'll talk to them about their working relationship and whether it works. Um, it seems to. I mean, this season has gone pretty well for them so far. First things first, uh, let's get coffee. Did Mo get our coffee order? Because I need caffeine. Hello! <laughs> Welcome. It's good to be here. Uh, which way are we heading first? Right, take you straight into the changing room. Match day. First place to start, just down here. Just going to take you through, um, give you a little bit of a tour of the place. Obviously love it here, I think everyone's well aware of that, but we're just going to show you what it's about. Well, walk, come, driving in here, one of the things I noticed is this place is massive. It might be bigger than Gloucester. Okay. Um, and so the expectations are really big. What is this? So this is just how our change rooms set up normally on a match day. So we're very fortunate that the um, staff get in really early, set it all up for us so it looks nice. Um, quite often they ask us if we want to be over the way, but we have to split forwards and backs and we just love being like one big family. So it's a bit of a trek to the pitch, but we just love it. Um, everyone in here all together. Either myself or Zoe or Croft will be on the boom box, um, which was nicely gifted to us actually um, by somebody in chat, which is class. And yeah. Who's on the boom box today? It'll be Zoe. It'll be Zoe. It's either me or Zoe, but um, I do like gym music with Cecilia. So we try and like mix it up, you know, make everyone feel nice and calm. And Zoe's got well good tunes. So yeah. Okay, bro. So I'll be on it. And then obviously like you have your space. It's a bit carnage because um, lots of the girls that are NPRs or not playing. So you'll see loads of them coaching today. They'll, qu they'll quite often like be in as well, like helping us with hair or sorting us all out. And it's just like try and keep everyone together. So yeah, it's nice and it's cute, it's a good atmosphere. Okay, and then the walk from here to the pitch, yep. is that really quiet? How does that feel? So, no, it's actually all right. So we normally go like out the back way around, up through, so no one sees us till we get to the pitch. Ah. And then um, hopefully they'll do it today. But when we have all of the girls that are coached in the morning, they do this like mad um, guard of honor. Like honestly, it's like you have to run through it and it's probably to the halfway, uh, like halfway of the pitch. So it's, it's just class, but it gives us a proper buzz and we absolutely love it, so. Speaking of a buzz, uh, we went to go buy coffee and the coffee was already prepaid for <laughs> by Sean. Uh, we would just like to say thank you very much for the VIP treatment and it's absolutely. class coffee. Yeah, no, it is good. It's so good. Like, it keeps me fueled okay. in the days when it's open, so. Okay, wh where, where are we going next? So I'll show you the gym. So this is, we obviously stay here as well. So this is our like main changing room on um, weekdays, Tuesdays, morning. Oh, straight into here actually, match day. Give us a wave, Jake. <laughs> so Jake's our physio. Um, Morgan will be in as well, our other physio. But this is like our rehab suite and um, where we now get strapped on a match day. So they'll be set up, two beds. Girls will be in. They also have um, got tunes playing, so Jake will get his tunes going. So make sure that the atmosphere carries through so all the girls are vibing. And then it's just a nice space to like stretch or do whatever you need to on match day. So lots of the girls have different prep that they like to do, especially us older girls, um, to get our bodies firing before we go out onto the warm up. So, yeah. Okay, who spends the most amount of time in here? Uh, do you know what? It's probably Alex Matthews. Really? Yeah, like she's really diligent. Hannah um, Jones as well, very diligent with like what they do. And some people just like the quiet of it. So Tatiana Hurd will always have her headphones on because that's how she likes to prep, so she won't like be listening to the boombox, same as Georgia. But sometimes if it gets a bit much in there, they've got this space to come to and just like chill and get into their own zone and stuff. I'll show you the main gym space. I haven't been all. selected yet, which is why I can't do the, the walk to... <laughs> just for players, just, just for just players. players. Here they are. I found them. Here hey. we go, you're on cover enough. No, no. This is Wardy. <laughs> You're officially rolling around your own club with a 
camera crew. Do you know crew. what? It's not worth the stick I'm going to cop. Like, <laughs> so, I don't think you were filming earlier, but Sarah Beckett started laying into me because I was talking. She called me four times and I didn't answer. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of stick for this. It's the greater good. It's the greater yeah. good. <laughs> Hopefully. So, this is our main SEC suite that we're in twice a week. So when we're not at King's Home Training, this is where we're fortunate enough to gym. So it's been like newly renovated. This is, so this building is actually what Gloucester Rugby used to have like a year ago, two years ago, before they moved to King's Home as their main base. And then when they left, they took all their gym equipment and we were fortunate enough that we got all of this in. Um, and they revamped and brand new kit there as well. So we actually have two brand new gyms this season, which is class. Most of us are pretty anal about what rack we have, especially the World Cup girls coming back. Like Tatiana Hurd, honestly, was flapping about it. She ended up coming training about two hours before so she could actually put her bag in the right space in the changing room and have the same rack and stuff. So. Yeah. Does, does one of them, like, stand out to you? Do you have a favourite one? Yeah, this one? one's mine. <laughs> Which, I'm the same. I'm as anal as Why? Why? Uh, it's just the one I've always been on. Do you perform better on this one? I just, like, in my head, like, I couldn't... Unless he literally put our names to a rack, I couldn't go anywhere else, because I've just always, for three years, been on that rack. All I can hear is... Mm, You're like, it's making me sweat. Like. Major panic territory. If if there was ever a breakdown <laughs> oh. in the morale in the club, it's yeah. going to be... This is going to be the territory. Yeah, no, it is, honestly. So, like, um, Lundy and B, Ellie Underwood are always on this one. Then you've got Mia Venner. Uh, Brocky's actually moved to this one recently. Bridger are on there. Sam, Neve. Um, who else on there? Beckett's on that rack. Top rack is Buggy, Rani. Zoe and Connie and that are there now. Like, literally everyone has their space, yeah. It's a territorial battle. It really is, it really is. And anyone, like, new coming in, I think, like, it's a little bit edgy and everyone's a bit like, oh, where are they going to go? But we're, um, so it's really cool that they've got, um, I don't know what they're called, but basically they time us. So we've got, like, loads of speed gates and stuff on our um, strength stuff, on our um, bench and squat now. So we kind of have to go with the people we're as strong as. So, Ooh. yeah, it was a little bit... There was a little bit of movement, but everyone's settled again now, so it's okay. fine. Um, is this your match day here? Is it done? No, not yet. Okay, what's not the yet. scrunchy? Scrunchy, dry at rugby club. Aww. Yeah, so it's um, my first rugby club, and the girls actually came for a coaching session and then gave me one after the game a few weeks back, and I was like, girls, I'm always going to wear that now. So, yeah. Who's doing your hair today? Um, it'll be Cecilia Tirupalotti, because um, Rani, who normally does it, is playing for Cheltenham this week, so, yeah. Okay, so yeah. she's coming off the bench. Yeah, exactly, yeah, she's coming off the bench. <laughs> I got a grovel. <laughs> Who does your hair is a big thing as well, because obviously there's 26 of us on the match day, and, like, there's only three or four platters. So does like, it go people... on the WhatsApp group, or is no, there a Google it's... sheet that you fill it in there on? There should be, there should be. Like, come early and get your hair done, but no, it's, um, yeah, it is quite a, it's quite a military procedure. And it's the ultimate flex, if you can... Yeah. You can do it is yeah. and i think there's secret platters in our team as well that basically they don't really like doing it because obviously it takes up a lot of match day so every now and again they'll come out and they'll be like right you actually need help now <laughs> but, yeah. okay bro so this is your office basically this is our office yeah and it's um so it's exactly the same this side to that side so basically it's just like replicated both sides which wow. i love i love the symmetry of it this place is it's mad yeah very impressive very fortunate to be here very, very fortunate. Okay, where to next? Um, where do you want to go? I can show you pictures. I'll show you where we train because the girls will be out there now. Mm -hmm. So we'll head there now. I think the main thing, if you're listening to this and you can't actually see it, is to say that we really are in the countryside, like the rolling hills in the distance. Yeah. We're not even, cl like it's not walking distance from Gloucester this. You are well no, no, and no. truly out in the nowheres. 15 but it's, minutes But Gloucester. it's like a proper, I mean, there's just buildings all over and people live here on site. So I'll coach uh, on a Monday on these pictures and then on a uh, Tuesday and Friday on the pictures out the back. Um, like on the 3G, but sometimes I'll go and have food down there because it's really cute. Because it's just beautiful. Yeah, it is. Tons of fresh air. Oh, oh there's the lake down there. Yeah. Oh, that's golf romantic. As well. So at the top there, there's like a par three golf course. It's crazy. <laughs> so there's a driving range as you drive in. But I think you have to collect your own balls, so I've never been on it. But yeah, there's a little par three up there. A little par three. Yeah. Guys, here he is. 
the big one, <laughs> the main one. Sean Lynn, that's who got the coffees in, everyone, if you're hey, watching. Hey, Sean, thank you so much for hooking us up with the no coffee. Problem. I'm it's Alma. Okay. Hi, lovely to meet you. It's lovely to meet you. And, and this is my mate, Bertie. This is Bertie. Hi, Bertie, I'm Alma. Nice to meet you, Bertie. You say? Are you going to watch some rugby today, Bertie? Uh, yeah. And who's going to win? Gloucester. There we go. The main man. Yes. <laughs> the girls are actually wetting themselves <laughs> as they're coming in. <laughs> Hi! What is going on? <laughs> Morning! <laughs> I'll explain in a bit. <laughs> Thanks for coming, we'll see you after. I'll see you soon. inside thank heavens this country does heating because it was absolutely baltic at one point the rain was coming in sideways uh, we're in the analysis suite um emily has taken her coat off she's indoors mo looks like a different person entirely <laughs> and we're joined by is, is this your boss do you introduce sean lynn yeah. as your boss a king of heart i think we probably go with but yeah linny let's just go head of women's rugby <laughs> head of women's rugby mo's coach and also My the boss. person did you speak how often do you guys speak quite a lot yeah. <laughs> probably daily yeah. yeah daily yeah definitely like yeah. on christmas yeah yeah i think yeah. we take a little merry yeah, christmas to each other. Nice, a little yeah. merry christmas definitely well. oh yeah. wow yeah. okay so it's deep how long have you known one another so I, w I came here for college, which is a while ago now, um, and Linny's now wife was the year above me in the Netball, Netball Academy. Yeah. yeah. So, like, kind of knew of back in the day, but didn't really know yeah. until I came back. Maybe, like, when did you come across? Three years ago? Three years ago. Mm. Uh, it, the memory came up on Facebook. Did it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> three years ago. Your so. three-year anniversary, which is why we are here, actually, and yeah. we planned it It's like great. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And for our international uh, viewers or listeners like me, um, the code for college is age 16. So um, you literally have been here since you were a teenager yeah. on and off. Like 16 to 18, um, came yeah. here for college and then went down to the University of Bath and then mm. yeah, made my way back. So we were in the sevens programme, um, contracted for a little while and then... Mm. Litchfield got disbanded. Still sad about that. But yeah, <laughs> we don't talk about it. Um, but like when I was choosing which club to go to when I decided to take the 15s contract, it was high on the agenda just coming back here. I think one of my shirts is up um, back across the way and saw my family before I came across. Everything's in one place. It's just a great place. Like when you come back here, it almost just feels like home. And yeah, I love it. And you guys are on an absolute roll. 46-12 win today. Um, was 46-12. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Loughborough. Um, I mean, we were coming here for a big old uh, competitive duel. Unfortunately, we didn't see any Emily Scarrett action today, but there was tons of action from the red side. Yeah. To be fair, that like I know we always say it's a cliche, but it didn't feel like that. Like it felt like such a battle out there, and then I think we just managed to like take the scoreboard in that second half. Um, yeah, and I, I full credit to Loughborough. We we built this week up. It was a massive week for us. The way Loughborough can play their set piece, it's it, it, they're, they're a very good outfit. I just think the strength that we had off the bench just brought massive impact, and that's been our theme for this season, um, the way the bench come off and, and just make an impact. Um, and going in at half time as well, 22-12 up against a real big wind was really good from us. And um, we, we, we are excited and the girls are playing some real good stuff. So yeah, it's, it, it's it's going well, isn't it? It's going well. <coughs> Literally, it's so great. Every time we're in the change room, oh, every time we're in the change room or in the um, in the huddle after, Lily just gets lost for words. Sometimes he's like, "I just love it." The girls are just <laughs> love it. Like, I just love it. Saturdays for the girls. So he's like a male you, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Because yeah, you talk about much. rugby and then you go, guys, I really just love it. Yeah. It is, you know, and uh, Saturday is for the girls. It's it's uh, uh, we. 
everything we do, we work really hard. All coaching staff, all players. Um, Andrew Ford, who's come in and he's taken over with the, the attack side of it. Everybody just works so hard. And Christmas Day, I had a video from Andrew Ford saying, what do you think about this move, mate? I was like, Fordy, have a day off. Uh, but no, I think just everybody loves the environment, just being involved in what we're doing. It's um, smiles on faces, which is where it should be, the game of rugby. And there was a big smile on Tatiana Hurd's face today. Oh. What a performance. Birthday girl. What was that? 14 carries, 9 metres average. As a 12, that's phenomenal. Sorry, not even that. Can we talk about her kick? <laughs> so Tat doesn't always kick the ball, right? And as we were coming back for the, there was one before, and like the position in the fullback, I was like, Tat, like they're giving you loads of space. Like, just have a look. If it's on, just get your eyes on it. And literally, so I think it was in her head. As soon as this ball comes over, she's like, Sammy, hit me, Sammy, hit me, Sammy, hit me. <laughs> Both feet off the floor, whacked it. I was like, that is the best thing I've seen all game. So I'm on, I I'm on the radio. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> It was a hell of a nerd. And then Fordy was like, that, mate. I was like, yeah, fair play. Yeah. 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 But no, I agree. Since coming back from the World Cup, she's just grown in confidence. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what you want from your 12, is just to give you some direction. These forwards work so hard. Then you want a 12 just to give them good front football and the game's so much easier then. So true. Yeah, she's... But when you've got somebody like her sniping and putting the girls into space, it does help as well. Mm. Yeah. So <laughs> They're literally like brother and sister, aren't I mean, they? Really? <laughs> it's very cute. I'm, I'm understanding why there's such a good vibe here, because I wouldn't mind hanging out with the two of you at work all day. Yeah. Yeah, a few people like that, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> it's a sad day when we're not in the office, I think. It is, yeah. Um, so, when I'm not in the office, why does she text me saying, are you coming in today? <laughs> so, I, she was, and then the other day, I was like, any chance of you coming in? <laughs> she was like, yeah, sorry, boss. I was like, no, I just want some banter. <laughs> No, so, are you literally here just all the time? I mean, you're talking about the office. When you say the office, is there a desk with your name? Is there like a little plaque on it? Is there a whiteboard? No plaque, but I have my own whiteboard, yeah. Oh, with, oh it's, it's beautiful. You'd love it. I'm not allowed to touch it. No, but sometimes he does. <laughs> just to mess with you a bit. Yeah. Um, so I've got like. <laughs> what does, do you do? It just draws up. It's like session plan, and like so I try and have a little bit of separation. So obviously I coach in the mornings um, with my Bucks girls. So Monday, Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday morning, Friday morning, and then we train late Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. So sometimes on like a Monday or a Tuesday, I'll try and like get home to come back with like tat and my housemates and people so there's that separation between coaching and playing um and sometimes i'll come back in and they've just screwed up like all the plays that they want us to run on my board and i'm like like passive aggressively just like spraying it and rubbing it out <laughs> just my board thank you but i even know a desk is so special but no it's uh she, she balances it lovely um the coaching and the the play inside of it uh, she she does it's it's a tough task but she does it very well. As a coach, you don't know what players are feeling. And that, for me, is what Mo says to us. And I'll take it on board. And sometimes I'll take it on board, but I won't do nothing about it. Because mm -hmm. you've got to have that understanding as a coach of, but this is our way and this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. But it's always nice to get that player feedback. You've got to have it. I think it's like just the working relationship we have in terms of there's so much respect there. Like I respect Linny so, so much and look up to him so much with what he's done like in terms of a coaching role. And also like, like he's like my mentor in terms of bringing me on from the coach, but um, from my own coaching, but equally like as my head coach, he's class. Like I can go to him about anything. And I think if you're like any captain of a team or any of that leadership group, you have to have the ability to go and challenge, but it to be like a, in a way that it's not going to come back on you or, their backs aren't going to get up or equally like like Linny said he's not always going to listen to me sometimes it'll be like yeah see where you're coming from but actually like no I'm doing it like this and and that's that and I think because we've got that respect there it just works and yeah it's like he wants to know about the girls like he cares so much about the girls which is why this place runs so well especially like the signings that we've brought in and stuff I think it would have been really easy for a lot of people to have their noses out but mm. the management of that and the check-ins that like his phone is constantly going bless him and like the coffees and everything like that is the bits off the pitch that actually make such a difference to us yeah it's it, it, it's huge and I want to get 
to know that person, not just the player. Uh, I just want to go for coffees with individuals and have those chats, not rugby. Just tell me about you. How, how is life? That's key because it has to happen and we've got to appreciate that there's a mixture of Red Roses who are professional. The WRU now is, is great for the women's game, but at club rugby, not everybody is professional. And I think you've got to have that fine balance about knowing the workload of certain individuals as well. What just happened here? What did you pull a face at Mo We for? just did it like a... <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> no, it's so nice to hear like coaches talk about the importance of that because we, we recognise it and that's kind of what we... I guess pine for in, in coaches because it, it's so much more than just playing the game and has been able to pass a ball or kick a ball or you know do what we do on a Saturday or on a mm. Tuesday Thursday night whatever it is um, there's always so much more to it um, and it's just really nice to one hear someone say it but also to know that that's the truth yeah. because it's easy to say it it's you know anyone can do that anyone can have that as a priority and, and say it verbally but the second thing is it's hard to do it and it's hard to make time for people and actually go for coffee because he's got 300 different things that he probably has to do every day that's probably the easy one just to, to bin off um so it's nice yeah. that that actually is a thing and I also think the selections that Mo just spoke about that you've got this season are probably a huge um like pat on the back, back and testament to what has been created here because people don't Although I'm sure there's a bit of cash about, but people don't move. Yeah, there actually isn't. <laughs> dual career, though. Dual career, dual career. I just career. <laughs> and you had to get it in somewhere. I had to. <laughs> um, but, but no, seriously, because people don't move just on a whim. They, they to do Gloucester. It. Yeah. They do <laughs> yeah, they do I love it because it. They, they believe so in something. Well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, you are right. You are right. People move here for more than the great, great outdoors. Yeah. But, but equally, it's like... It's not everyone that is going to... Like, Linny checks in with the girls, so, like, people put their hand up and say, oh, like, keen to come. But it's like, is it right for us? Like, is it... Do we need that position? That's the first thing that gets asked because there's no point signing a superstar if we've already got people doing an absolute job. Like, we've got unbelievable club players here that put their all in, that have been here for so many years. And actually, they're the ones that Linny was always about looking after. Like, when these signers were coming in, it's so important that they're the ones that actually get, like, retained first and they get looked after. And then it's like, are they going to fit in? Like, are they a good person? Because you can be a hell of a rugby player, but actually, if you're all in it for yourself or and there are a few people out there that are like that like if you're in it for yourself or you just want the ball in hand or you want to take it on and you're not going to buy into what is the culture of the club you don't want to get involved with the girls like after or come to food on a monday night after we do it if you don't want that then it might not be the place for you and that's fine but actually mm. like that's really important that if you come here you buy into that and to be fair like the girls that have come in have been good as gold like honestly like couldn't have asked for better people to to fill this club up and yeah yeah they are but, class. but you've got to have that mm. because we've got the spine yeah i think the retainment the retainment for me was the key part mm. when we said right we're going out to recruit i said whoa let's hang fire let's retain yeah this is what we've got. We're building something. You don't build something if everybody goes. So that is still key for me now, is the retainment again of what we've got. And then that recruitment is great. And That recruitment of Emily Scarrett. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Open to offers now, Jake. <laughs> but I mean, you... you, like you? <laughs> <laughs> I them. I'm not so sure about okay. Gloucester. Did you buy a house last year? <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. I did. <laughs> So you are through and through Gloucester Hartbury. I mean, you've been, you were as a player, you came through the ranks here. Your history with this place yeah, yeah, so goes I, back all the way. Which is, is that why retention of players and that kind of really bringing people through is important? Yeah, I've, I've been at Hartbury a long time. Mm. Uh, oh, sorry, because we were trying to work this out. 22 years. So I came here as... So you didn't look that old. Thank you. <laughs> so I came as a player... Um, and then I tried having a go with Gloucester Rugby. Mm. That didn't work out. Then I went into work, went up to Worcester for a little bit with Andrew Stanley. Didn't work out. Then I came here and I got a teaching slash coaching role. Um, 
and at that time I still wanted to be a coach, still wanted to be a coach, but then my teaching took off, really enjoyed the teaching side of it, so I just stepped away a little bit of coaching, loved that teaching part, and I would say that's where my people skills come from, is, is building that craft, the coaching craft, the, the personal touches, because when somebody comes into that classroom, I want to see what their body language of that 16, 17 year old is like. If I know Mo Hunt is the bubbly character, she comes in and she's not as bubbly, there's something going wrong. And that's how I see my coaching. Very lucky I was very successful then. I took on board the university men. Uh, Box champs. <laughs> Three times? <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you do PR as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just here to big them yeah, up. We, yeah. we, I, very successful with the Buck Super Rugby. Um, and then I wanted to go out to the teaching and Susie just said to me, look, I think you'd be great at this job. Susie Appleby. Yeah. And then uh, I said to my wife, do you think? What do you think? She was like, it's up to you. So secretly I came to watch a few games mm. um, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to go for it. So Why? What is it that hooked you when you came <laughs> to watch those games and said, okay, cool, this is it? I think there was so much I could develop with these talented girls. So the potential? Yeah. And then it was just, let's get recruiting and retaining. Do you ever get sick of each other? Do you have timeouts? Do you go, actually, I don't want to hear from you, leave me alone? No. No, I don't. Even, like, it probably goes the other way. So, like, last season when I was in camps quite a lot, I'd just ring him or, like, Linny would ring me and we'd just have, yeah. like, 20-minute catch-ups, just like, how's it going, what's going on? Yeah. So, yeah, it's probably the other way around. And how much of that is work and how much of that is how's Bertie, your little boy, who is the <laughs> cutest <laughs> ever? <laughs> oh, I don't, there's a great story as well. <laughs> so my wife does a great roast dinner and she invited all the girls around. So Zoe, Tat, uh, Mo. Was it Maya and Christine? Maya, Christine, yeah, yeah, yeah. all came round on a Sunday afternoon. My kids love Nerf guns. So you and you have four of them, right? Three. 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 Yeah. Okay. So Zoe's very competitive. <laughs> very. Zoe. Strat was there as well. Uh, Strat. Be str <laughs> so they get the Nerf guns and Zoe's like, right, <gasps> let's play teams. <laughs> Turn off the light and we're going. <laughs> you go upstairs, we've got to find you. <laughs> and my kids went back then to my wife's mum's and said, Nan, <gasps> Zoe Allcroft played Nerf guns with us. <gasps> and Vic's mum was like, who's Zoe Allcroft? <laughs> <laughs> what's a <the> Nerf gun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you guys clearly have the kind of household where you entertain and you just bring everyone in and yeah, it's, it sounds yeah. quite generous and Definitely. warm. Definite. Oh. And that's how I want the club to be. Yeah. It is generous, warm, everybody comes in, you're welcomed. Uh, that's, that's, that's how it is, isn't it? I asked Bertie a little earlier who his favourite team is, obviously Gloucester. Oh, keep going. <laughs> Whose favourite player is? <laughs> Mo, obviously. And then said, if I'd swap you Mo... I'll take Mo and you can have Emily Scarrett. Would you say yes? And he went, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Bertie's a big Mo Hunt fan then? Bertie, oh, massively. Uh, there, there, there's two stories with Bertie as well. So I took him, he wanted a, a rugby jersey. So I took him to the Gloucester shop, bought him uh, a Gloucester jersey. And I said, what number do you want on the back, Bert? He was like, dad, number nine. Hello. So I said to my wife, amazing. I used to play scrum half, I was amazing. <laughs> He's following his dad's footsteps. I said, what name do you want on the back? Mo. <laughs> I was like, it's a Vic, my wife was laughing her head off and probably text Mo then saying, Linny's gutted. Um, but yeah, but Mo's got a great story on uh, oh, over yeah, Christmas. Christmas Eve, so um, Nash Lynn, his wife, uh, messaged me just being like, oh, um, Woke up this morning and said to Bert, like, I guess who's coming to your house tonight? Obviously, me and Father Christmas. So he went, Mo? <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Well, I mean, We're it, friends. there's tons We're of people who wear red. Yeah. You know, it's easy to get confused. Yeah. Um, I love the family vibe that you've built here. Um, and that's obviously probably the benefit of almost being in a bit of a bubble out here in the countryside. I said to them when I got here, I didn't realize this is literally like, it's a separate place to yeah. Gloucester, the town. Yeah. It's like a little community out in the countryside and it's absolutely spectacular. But it's quite big. <laughs> I mean, there is a lot of stuff on this campus. 360 hectares yeah. with... And the horse, are the, how many of the horses are there? <laughs> I've heard these things about the horses just running past when you train? Does that happen? Is that a thing? 
Sometimes you can. <laughs> so when they do the... Uh, so in the summer, they do a massive um, four-day event. And where the pitch one was yeah. on the back there, you might have mm -hmm. seen some jumps, that's the cross-country. Oh. Um, so they go all around the campus, up onto the top of the hill, that cross-country. So it, it's pretty impressive. Um, and the ag agriculture side of it, mm -hmm. up on the farm, that's still a working farm with the students who help we out. We saw the milk truck earlier. Yep. It went past here <laughs> during the game. So, so was very urban. Yeah, yeah. Very, very urban. <laughs> yeah. I, said to, I said to her, look, there's a milk truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it is lovely. And so here's another example. Christmas Day, we just live up on the farm. So Christmas Day, we ran out of milk. So my wife just texts the farmer saying, hi, Brian, any chance we can get some milk from the farm? She, yeah. He was like, yeah. So we go over to the container, just shh, open, open it, up, it up, just take so drugs good. back to the house. Yeah, yeah it was, it's, it, it's great. And then you've you've got the keeping up with the Clevedons going over at your place. I mean, you're running a little digs there as it is. <laughs> we need to hold this shot for Morty because she can divulge all the information. Yeah. But honestly, we're living with like six, seven people at the minute. So it's been carnage, but good fun. Yeah. Not keeping up the family vibe, basically. So this season, in terms of the, the I mean, obviously it's working for you. This uh, this whole everyone one big happy family, but like bundling in together. But the the run of results you've seen, is there a result so far outside of today? Obviously, that was most important, most crucial. That stands out. I mean, you you got two big ones away, which I mean, those are always great to have. And winning against Exeter to yeah. just yeah. kick it off with must be absolutely huge. I think for me, it has to be that Sarah's away. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Can you cut that? Sorry. Um, I'll start again. <laughs> they might have done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, no, that's I'll going take, for the highlights are real. I'll take <laughs> Um, okay. It's literally Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't think she actually listens to it. She just pumps it. Come on, girl. Three, Come on. two. Yeah, I think for me, um, it's got to be Sarah's away. Uh, the way that we played, not just the result. Like I think we hadn't beaten Sarah's away. I don't think we'd ever beaten Sarah's away. And to to go down there, like not necessarily how many we scored, but the way that we played and just like the variation we showed in our attack, especially, and then defensively we were just solid, like everyone was together. And yeah, the way that the girls fronted up that day, like it was just class, but it wasn't a case of like, we were nervous or anything like that. Everyone was just buzzing like the whole time, like the vibe in the changing room, so good pre-match, like at half time, everyone was obviously buzzing like on the pitch. Like it's just so positive and it's well, like it's the rugby I want to play. So it was just class. Yeah. Uh, I think you said it as well with the extra away win. That that that's huge for us, especially with didn't have the girls there, and that's what I'm loving is the squad that we've got. Um, and and girls just put their hands up. Uh, you've got an 18 year old Steph Else who played 80 minutes at number eight down in Exeter, and she was outstanding. And I think that's what we can do now. We've got a good bunch of international players who can then we can bleed these youngsters i gotta take them off mo first for the <laughs> university program i have no say <laughs> by the way he's saying that right i have no say who i play gloucester heart we get full president <laughs> comes and shops so, yeah exactly yeah. no he does look after me I'm <laughs> and you had 150 youngsters out here this morning so the future looks i mean it just looks very bright yeah it's class like running out to that tunnel like I say, like I said it before, but it's amazing, and they really genuinely care. Like they know loads of the girls now. Like obviously, I think Sky's got a little bit bombarded. Sunta did as well. So it, like they're rugby girls and they're local girls, and to have people like that that genuinely care about what we're doing, to be there supporting. Um, but that's all driven by the girls. So injured and non-selected players come in, they do their conditioning before that, then they coach the girls. So they're getting coached by us as well, and that's another buy-in from the girls. Like, you always want to be out on the pitch, but if you're not, like, there's the buy-in of that from the girls. Bimba, um, our tight head. Tight head? Tight head. <laughs> Thank nice one, Mo. Yes, uh, <laughs> tight heads are so important. Well done, Bimba. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so Coach Bimba. Coach <laughs> Yeah, we are. Um, yeah, our tight head, she's, like, running that program as well. So she's the one that's actually getting them here on the, on the um, weekends and, and heads it up before match and stuff like that. So it, it is class. Like, there's a lot of cogs going on here, but everyone's fully bought in.
for me, it's really nice that these girls come off the pitch, and they're great role models, they are. They come off the pitch, and they've got youngsters who are looking up to them um, and making the girls feel special. Now, for me, the international girls, that's the norm. But those club pe yeah. girls... Tell a buggy story. Just, just buggy. We, we played against Exeter in the Prem Cup. And she said, I know you're going to hate me saying this. But even though we've lost, I've loved today. I was like, why that? She was like, I've never had so many girls come up to me and ask me to sign a jersey, sign a ball. That's special. That's special. That, that touched me. And I think, I do feel that these are what these club girls should have. They, they work full-time jobs and they commit to everything. And I, I, full credit to them. It's special. It is. And all the more relevant then what you said about introducing big signings like Sarah Beckett, um, you know, bringing over Alex, Alex Matthews, Matthews and Maud Mia. Like, if you're going to do that, you really do need to balance that out by also, like, you know, introducing it in a way that honours the people who are here and who are doing the work. Definitely, yeah. 100%. Like, I think we saw that as well with selection at the start of the season. Like, just because the big names were coming back in, they earned their place. So everyone was on the bench first. Nobody got a starting shirt unless we were... I don't think anyone did. We might have been struggling second row, so... Someone might have come in to start there, but yeah. everyone coming back from World Cup worked their way back into that starting team. And that's how it had to be. Your bench versus DMP, is that the game you're on about? Yeah. That was quite something. Yeah. yeah. It was hor horrifying to look at. It was like <laughs> Zoe Oldcraft, Tat, Alex. Maudie I think Beck started. started. Yeah. yeah. Connie. Connie, all these players coming on at 60 minutes against oh, DMP. So Luffer has messaged me. Yeah, did he? <laughs> saying, saying, what are you doing? Mate, are you worried about, uh, <laughs> do you think it's going to be a tight game? <laughs> but that's going back to what the relationship I had with Mo. I was going to start certain individuals and she was like, oh, I don't think so, we shouldn't do that, boss. I think this is what the girls have loved. And I thought, oh, I listened that time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Just because of the consistency, because I think he stood at the front quite a lot and just said, like, it's your shirt, like, you keep it if you're going well, that sort of thing. And that, like, for me, that's really important. And the girls fully bought into that. They saw it. So it was a case of yeah. just because there's certain red roses coming back in, doesn't that doesn't change your policy. Like, your policy has been so sound and the girls love it. So I think that's the kind of relationship that we have in terms of, like, he'll ask the question, but I owe it to everyone to be as honest as I can be so that we get the right we get the right outcome and then everyone stays happy it's a very very tight it's such a tight rope it's such a um, precarious position that you're kind of managing incredibly well um and it clearly is yielding result it helps that she lives with half the team so that, <laughs> I, I imagine there's a lot of small talk that goes on yeah. that normally when you go home you get that where is it? it's just half the team in most She's kitchen never off. Yeah, so. it's not even that right so it's not even like the fact that they're there sometimes like i'll come home and there's just like half the team in there so like bex is round all the time like Kels will pop in nevi's there do you know what i mean like zoe's over kel's over for food before so it's just like a little hub and i love it um my favorite bex has got me a lockbox so that i don't no even way. need to be in anymore <laughs> so there's a lockbox on the side of my house yeah so good Brilliant. so good is the is the, is the code for the lockbox on the whatsapp group for the team <laughs> it will be. it's like the description <laughs> yeah, of the yeah, team yeah. here's the lockbox guide to the hub <laughs> we've had a few occasions where we've been together and she's just been scrolling instagram she's like all these people are sat on my sofa <laughs> and like, she's not even there yeah. she's like up in the middle and see me it's or whatever like, like when the girl like six nations time was a big one i think gwen crab put something on her story and i was like oh gwen is in my house <laughs> just like so random but yeah and that's how you find out <laughs> no i love it though like i want i want people to feel welcome like similar to here that like, is the same vibe in my home like i want people to feel welcome like open door policy we actually went on a night out you don't know this i don't think like a while ago <laughs> and um I like to be one of the last ones standing. Like, when we're out, we're out. Do you know out, what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. So, like, come home. And Zoe, all cross fiancé, he did actually used to live with me, but he was just sat on my sofa watching telly. So, like, we I don't even know how he got in, but we've all come back. There's, like, six of us that have come home. And he's just there watching telly. He's like, right, love? And he didn't want to walk another, like... Well, how it's probably like a 30 minute walk home to be fair that he was like oh, i just couldn't be bothered to walk the extra bit so i just thought i'd crash in gloucester yeah. no, I know. <laughs> yeah. we do yeah <laughs> but 
But I mean, if, if the hub's right here, why would you even bother with the last exactly. half an hour? Yeah, why not? I agree. <laughs> so funny. I love that. And I have certainly felt the same level of welcome here today. And um, thank you, Sean, for looking after us the way you have. No problem. And for it's being been a pleasure. So just, I mean, it's it's genuinely, it does just feel like a great space to be. Um, and it's great to watch you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Things are going to loosen up just a little bit because uh, we've got two teammates of Mo's to really come and dish the dirt. It's Maud Mia and Rachel Lund. Uh, welcome on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. Grab a chair, grab a microphone, hold it nice and close so we can hear what you have to say and dish the dirt. <laughs> Congratulations on your result. How do you feel, Maud? Um, my legs are a bit tired, but <laughs> feeling rather positive. <laughs> feeling good, feeling positive, yeah. right? I just said that it's nicer when you feel like this, but you've won, you know? Yeah. So that you feel like this, and it's all a bit stiff and achy, and you're like, oh, but we lost. So. You've had a feed, you've had yeah, something to drink, you're okay. Yeah. Is that your first experience of the L Pass? Yeah. Of like playing for Gloucester on the yeah, L Pass. That's why your legs are so heavy. Yeah. 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 It was sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the polite way of putting it? <laughs> I think the best thing, I don't know if we could get this clipped up, but you, <laughs> when you try to keep the ball in, down in the bottom corner, like Morty's like pristine, like obviously just come on. Yeah. No mud to be seen, <laughs> carries off low, so doesn't even go to ground, and then <laughs> the ball gets charged down. Morty goes after it, face first, <laughs> off the pitch, <laughs> trying to keep the ball in. She comes up, there's just mud everywhere. I was like, I feel, welcome yeah. to the game. I oh. fell on salmon. Yeah. yeah. Across the line. <laughs> I didn't need to. <laughs> but I hey, tried. you got stuck in there. Brilliant. We just had your coach in here, and I heard a story of how Linny got... What did he get for his birthday? What did you guys give him for his birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know anything about this. I knew that like, we contributed to his 40th birthday present. Oh, it was classic. Honestly, it was so funny. So we had like analysis, and then right at the end, Mo gets up and she was like, Linny, like, you know, don't you forget that we've got your birthday, obviously, before Christmas. We've got your present, and there's like a little, um, like, little parcel, and it opens at the back. It's a helmet, and he honestly just, like, his face is like, it's really weird. <laughs> and then, and then we're like, Does he have a motorcycle? <laughs> no, no, this is it. So we've bought him an electric scooter. <laughs> right. So good. And a helmet. It's and a helmet. Yeah, the helmet's <laughs> going with the scooter. Important, yeah. It's very important. <laughs> very important. And, um, and yeah, and so then we go straight from analysis into the gym, and then all of a sudden we can see this like red light like shooting past the gym. <laughs> <laughs> and we all like stop and have a look outside because it's dark. And it's Lily, like little child, like scooting over the speed bumps <laughs> and zooming <laughs> on. And he was like, yeah, come on, the girls, this is class. Thanks very much. It's so, so good. very well done. I very don't well think done. I've told you guys, but um, I woke up to a text like the other morning, and Lily's just put, my scooter, full stop. I love <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> so he'd already said thanks about three times oh, for it, didn't he? Yeah, he was real chuffed of it. You could just tell he was just like, oh, class. That's and that's, I guess that's the benefit of living out here is he can ride it all over campus and yeah. uh, like yeah. he lives on site, right? Yeah. yeah. Just lives up the hill, doesn't he? No, that was the point because so when we're in the office, sometimes you have to go to the top, which really isn't that far, but it's quite a <laughs> steep climb. <laughs> and like, honestly, the other day he had to go up there and he was like, do you want to give me a lift? And we were just like, Linny, get a grip, like get walking, like come on. It would, it would like, literally be longer to yeah. drive and go the one-way system to literally. get up, but it's just... But he just <laughs> kept going and I was like, oh my God, that's when yeah. the idea dropped. I was like, electric scooter. So now he can just ping around campus on it. Now he's so looking good. for excuses to go somewhere, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. So good. good. It was really good. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want for your birthday? Electric scooter. <laughs> <laughs> And then the two of you together. It isn't far away, no, no, to be no. fair. So it was his 40th. And after I got it, I was like, I hope the staff don't think that we're going to do that for like any <laughs> Yeah, you, you set a I mean? precedent. Yeah. 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 But it's it was cool. his 40th. And he's a good guy. And he's, he's a big dog. Yeah. He's a good bloke. So, Maud, uh, tell me about the welcoming you've received courtesy of uh, the, what is it, the principal of the Gloucester Hard Pre welcoming uh, party? Who, me? You. My yeah. house. Basically. <laughs> Basically like, yeah, I mean, is she, is she the tour guide? Is she... <laughs> the tour guide, the, the chef, the, uh, pretty much. The everything. chief of tourism. Yeah. Social yeah. affairs. She does everything. Yeah. She's a good gal. Armo, oh, yeah. Not quite so What trip affairs, advisor but... rating would you give her? <laughs> Anything less than a 10 out of 10, I might be kicked out of her house. Yeah, true. <laughs> At the moment, well all of the reviews are going to be very <laughs> yeah. positive, strangely enough. Yeah. How many of you are there now under the same roof? No, wow. so... That's a real, yeah, it's a real good question. I actually don't... I've known your house for a long At time. I don't know how many people live there. At its biggest, don't. how many was it? Yeah. 
probably like seven. 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 In a three bed. Yeah. yeah. In a three but, bed. Well, three, but there's like an extra bit out the back, so it's kind of like a four. <laughs> and a really good sofa. But my grandma wouldn't sleep on yeah. it. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, Maud, so um, the thing is, so we had three signings come from Wasps, right? So Maud, Sam Monahan and Lizzie Golden. We were out in World Cup camp and our pre-season started in June. So June and July, myself, my other housemate Tat, obviously in England, and then Bethan Lewis, my third housemate, was in the Welsh camp Monday to Friday. So I was like, look, like, you can use my house. So Sam and Lizzie, like, use my house, it's fine. Like, we're gone all week. Mm. Makes sense. Like, it, it means someone's in there, like, looking after the place. And also, we're not there, so no need to be there. Anyway, roll on the next few months. Obviously, World Cup happens, and I was so grateful to have them there. I think I said on the previous pod, but, like, to have them around and company was amazing. And then the girls get back from the World Cup and we're still in there, right? <laughs> so Maudie, she's probably stayed there, like, two, three nights, and she was just like... I really love this room, but um, is there any way you can get some better curtains? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> first time, like, got these blackouts sorted, no issue. And then, um, what was it you said about your... I can't remember. I don't know if I actually did, you did say, say it. say it. You, you did say You always it. take the mickey out of me now, saying that I... It's not the most comfortable mattress <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's not. It's a futon yeah, mattress. It it's not Ooh. a mattress. No, it is. Yeah. As an athlete, how do you even do no, that? No, it is true. Because it I looks mean, it's pretty. It's a very spare room. But it's just, <laughs> it's been a... Mess. So I said to Maud at one point, I was like, oh, mate, like, did you sleep all right? Like, are you okay out there? And she was like... Yeah, like, it's okay. I, I wouldn't let my grandma sleep on it. But <laughs> <laughs> so now we're like, it's like a bit of a joke. That's the standard. But they're in yeah. now. They're yeah. in. Yeah. Four doors down. So are you just going to start taking over the whole, like, is there just going to be like... Monopoly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Can you come? Oh, that'd be class. <laughs> so, <laughs> class. <laughs> It's um it's been pretty pretty good the season the run that you've you know you've kind of you've come off the most amazing year Maud where I mean you were still studying in Brunel yeah in, in twenty and when oh, did you stop sorry. studying in twenty one uh, summer oh in twenty two yeah I graduated July oh gosh Woo. Woo. and then you just <laughs> you know quickly went to a World Cup and then now here we are like and you're playing this insane season with these. Amazing the girls. Yeah. The so that's a pretty hot run. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stay sitting right here. I know. It's a fact. It's okay. At the moment. At yeah. the moment. Yeah. At the moment. We're not getting ahead of ourselves. No, 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 no never. Can I ask about your Instagram, Maud? Yeah. <laughs> so you have three episodes of vlogs that you've done. Episode one, episode two, episode three. Is there a master plan? Is there a series here? And where are the other episodes? Yeah, well, I haven't actually... Well, I haven't edited the last bit of the World Cup. I haven't quite brought myself to do that yet. Um, but I'm hoping... Like, I just love my GoPro. I take it everywhere, get a few inside clips, you know. How long Elma's is the, a big fan how, of your, how of your work. How long does the edit take? Yeah. Um, basically, I really like hyperfix on it. So I, it takes me like two, three solid days. Like I didn't speak to my roommate for a good three days. <laughs> and I think she was a bit mad at me at one point. But I felt really bad because I was like, no, I need to get this done. Okay. And then, so now the shot selection, how much of it ends up on the, as we say, cutting room floor? How much footage do you have? Because there is a ton of footage in episodes. I'm, I mean, that thing just keeps going and I keep going, gosh, she was still filming. Okay. this. I mean, it doesn't stop. I've got a lot. That's why it takes so long because it takes hours to upload. So I just don't. And are you always <laughs> filming? Like when you're in camp, do you always have it in your hand? I'm not always filming, but... I mean, you got her dad's catch. I did. Did you? No, I didn't. I well, you didn't the, get the catch, the you got the reaction. Yeah. Have you not seen yes. it? No. I actually posted on Instagram, though. I can't <laughs> believe you didn't see oh, it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I did. Like three story. frames and everything. Maybe I did. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a ton of brilliant footage in there. Yeah. Um, have you always been a bit of a, like, a vlog? Uh, have mm -hmm. you always aspired to do this kind of thing? I used to have, like, a private Instagram where I just basically vlogged to my, like, friends, which was always fun. Why was it private? <laughs> what is the point of that? That's absolute gold. Yeah. 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 Is that, that like a close friends version? It. I'm not going to say the name because otherwise I have loads of requests. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how your profile only has six and a half thousand followers. 
I don't want this to come across as know. an interrogation. I don't know. It's, more, it's, it's more encouragement. Yeah, I'm I just only excited. recently got the GoPro, if oh, that counts. Okay. <laughs> that, that it's that your helps. facial expressions for <laughs> me. I'm, Sorry. You're killing me off. <laughs> I'm not very good at podcasts because I can't speak. No. I'm just all in the face. You can, no, you can. You can <laughs> speak. That's what I'm flustered. <laughs> no. This one's filmed, so you're good. You're, you're brilliant. You're, you're amazing. Morgan. Yeah. You're and amazing. you and you film such beautiful moments and it just comes across so real. Um, I think you're a brilliant asset to the game. Oh. Thank you. Here, here. Yay. Agreed. More of Maud. Agreed. More of Maud. I mean, and your um, your girls who pop in all over the place on that thing must love you because you have documented, like, what looks like such a phenomenal experience. Like, they all now have this memory that's been captured. Yeah, it's quite cool. Like, I got when Sunts came out of... Um, uh, I can't remember how many caps she got. How many caps did she get? Uh, 138... Nine, the most caps nine was there ever because oh, I, I think Rocky's yeah. one three eight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, quite a few caps. Yeah, I got that <laughs> her coming out the reaction. I haven't looked at that back actually, so that would be that'd quite be a cool. Good to oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, it would be cool. Keep capturing it, okay? Because that stuff is gold. And like I promise you, when you that you forget, uh, you you don't realize how much of it you will forget. And when you have footage, yeah. it's it just captures so many different things. Even Lucy Packer mm. might thank you one day. Maybe one day <laughs> in the distant future. She hates Lucy me, really. Packer and Maud were um, World Cup roommates. Mm. So Lucy was front and centre of a lot of yeah, content. She pops up and all Lucy, over it. How would you if, describe Lucy's yeah. character? If you could describe us two, we are the most opposite people. <laughs> but we get on so well. But we're just very opposite. Like, she hates the camera. She would prefer to be in the background and I'm, like, front and centre, you know. <laughs> Do you it. film as much when you guys are together here in... in oh, I haven't actually I haven't whipped out the GoPro. Can, Can you please, please You brought the Polaroid to the Christmas social. Oh, yeah. I, lo I have, like, my film camera, my Polaroid, oh. my GoPro. I love a little camera. It's a calling. Yeah. Are you looking yeah. for a job? It is. Good yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> well, if you need any extra stuff. <laughs> <laughs> can you please Can you please make the keeping up with the Cleve... Is that what it's called? The I said about it earlier. Keeping up with the Clevelands. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That thing. Can you please make that for us? Thank so you. Well Maud, tell them your idea about um, the front, the first picture. Scars, you won't probably get this about the Kardashians. <laughs> oh, you know where all <laughs> Do you of know them Kardashians? are like posing. Thank you. Like, yes. Sorry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you yeah, I know who the Kardashians are? Was that a serious question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it actually was. I'm sorry. I know we joke that I live under a rock, but I don't actually live under a rock. <laughs> so this is family in the US. Yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> they all have very structured faces. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, carry on. Well, we're all just going to pose, getting, you know, cutesy little dresses mm. and pose. And, mm. So good. Yeah. It's all in the light. Those photos are all just crazy well lit. There are some lighting here. I was going to say, we have light here. Would you like us to take a few now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get the girls downstairs. You've all washed your hair. So, I mean, we're halfway there. So good. And this background's pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. But I'm here for you filming a lot more. Okay, I will. Of everything. No, will keep me to that. I will. I'll keep it to that. Knock on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and you don't have to publish all of it just now. Just just get it. Yeah. Just get that stuff because it's it's so special. It's brilliant. And we're going to big, yeah. like, yeah. big yeah. pop in tomorrow morning. Hello. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Vlog day one. <laughs> <laughs> Of my new life. <laughs> I love that for you, though. Can't and this wait. does this feel like a new life a little bit? Um, yeah, it, it's it's a weird one because it like the w beginning of the season was so different to any season ever. But um, yeah, it's it's cool being in a new place, not having to study and doing a bit of coaching. But main focus is rugby. is very cool. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a new new chapter, as some might say. Yeah. And Rachel, you made your, you got your, you were capped for England yeah. on tour with, yeah, with Scars in 2015. Yeah. So you guys go way back. Yeah, yeah, we way do. Way back. Yeah, we do. It's actually a really long time ago, really isn't it? Long time ago. <laughs> I know. And it actually makes you feel old saying it out loud. And like, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite scary. That's yeah. eight years ago. Where was it? America or Canada? I couldn't uh, remember. Canada, Canada, Canada yeah. Canada. Yeah, I know it was. Long time ago. Long time ago. But Has she changed much? Yeah. <laughs> No, she's still great. She still passes the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Tick. <laughs> no, she does because I think that was. I think you were like well in, and I think you just went like, oh, new cap, off you go. And then I just got, like dotted a little stride down. I was like, thanks. You didn't need to give me that, but I'm real chuffed you did. So thanks very much. That's actually so cute. Yeah, you remember that. No, as well. I do. I do because it was actually quite cool because nice um, um, so Lark. I got capped at the same time as Lark. Like me and Lark came on together, mm -hmm. and at the time we lived together um, or. 
like Worcester teammates and like um, going through uni and stuff together at Worcester. And um, so both went on the tour together, both came on at the same point, like it was for a line out. It's a lark through the line out in and then that went well and then pass, pass, pass. And then I dotted it down. So like her first touch and my first touch were a little try. And then like this, Gazzy passed it. So, so good. Aww, Not the that's very cute. I yeah, 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 yeah so, I didn't know the whole know, story. So that's it was, cute. Um, it was quite a nice little... Yeah, a little mini moment. Good job I didn't dummy and go. I could have ruined the whole story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, well done, Scaz. <laughs> Scaz, I don't think I've ever seen you dummy and go, by the way. <laughs> Too unselfish. But you, so you were studying then yeah. at Worcester. Yeah. And now you're still, you're still busy. Still studying. Still, still studying again, yeah. on and off. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I studied my first like, undergrad at Worcester, sports therapy, and then basically came here for five years to work in the physio department downstairs. Um, and then, yeah, 18 months ago, I packed it in here and went back to Worcester full time to do my physio masters, um, mm -hmm. which I've got like six months left of, and then I'm unemployed and looking for work. So um, they'll have you back. Yeah, yeah they probably yeah. Like, right, you'll be straight back. some more now, I'm yeah, yeah. more qualified. I was going to say, yeah. then you're a real, <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm up and, uh, yeah, so um, yeah, busy. Busy at the she's moment. She's actually got a dissertation that she needs filling out yeah, by you know, any willing any applicants. Do what they need to be? Prem 15s. Yeah, Prem 15s. Yeah, players. Over 18. Yes, please. That'd be great. Yeah. So if you're a Prem 15s player yes. and you can help Rachel with yes, her research, please. Yes, please. reach yeah. out. Please. Vital research. 10 minutes. Actually a really interesting it's one. A, yeah. Have you done it yet? <laughs> no, I haven't I'm done putting it yet. You on the what spot. is it? I'm putting her on the spot. So I'm looking at um, stress urinary incontinence, which is basically like weeing yourself a little bit um, whilst you're playing rugby. Sorry? Exactly. So it takes a little bit of a surprise. Is it the accent? What did I missed it. So Can you yeah, say that normal. again? So um, stress urinary incontinence is basically is just like weeing yourself a little bit during sport oh, or like physical stress. Oh, okay. when you're mentally stressed. It's like a physical stress on your body. Um, and so far, I've got some like really good, thanks to Mo for sharing on her Instagram, I've got some great responses. <laughs> um, and about, I thought you were going to say, thanks to Mo's response, she wees a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually one that doesn't, <laughs> but, you. but it is it's a real thing. It's a, it's real, a real thing. thing. Like a lot of the girls talk about it, yeah. and um, in the Welsh camp last season, mm. they had like a big thing about pelvic floor and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. and. Yeah, no, it's massive. And so, yeah, for the... But people don't talk about it. No, exactly, so that's it. you're supposed to practice your pelvic floor along well, with the curls and the Well, <laughs> no, so that's, that's the interesting thing, is that typically people associate it with, like, middle-aged, preg like, postpartum women that have had babies and stuff, and that's why they do it. But obviously, you look at our population of typically... There's obviously, obviously our couple of mums in the league, but there's not typically, like, people mm. that have had lots of babies. And generally speaking, we are, like, fit, athletic women that have got strong muscles. And so it's actually the other way, where the muscles or some of the research says anyway, that it's muscles that have gone like, that are so tight and because we're constantly like adding stress to our body by like jumping, running, lifting, um, that it's actually the muscles can't switch off. They're almost like, like if you've got tight traps and tight shoulders, it's almost the same sort of mechanism that is causing us. So then we get like run into a tackle, we're like, oh, and we have a little bit of wee. Um, so <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs> and but, this um, is one example of why we should not be playing in white shorts. Yeah, no, exactly. It's, it's yeah, no, it is. And like I said, there's from the research- What colour is your wee? <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, like, it's your if this hydrated. is, if, yeah, if it's a concern, yeah, yeah. if it's a concern and it adds yeah. anxiety alongside menstruation, it's just yeah, like exactly. this and whole universe of from like the response complication. So far, I think about fifty percent of them do experience it. So it's like it's actually right. not like a tiny little bit of a few people. It's um, it's quite a big thing. So I'd love to be able to get, like I said, I'm just doing it in Prem 15s. I want to look at like elite female rugby players doing it. Um, and so I try and get as many responses as possible. So if anyone's watching. I'll share you, you're still not. She hasn't composed that's herself. The that's the best. But do you see Syra is literally crying. <laughs> that, she's loving she can't that. breathe. Skaz made what a funny. What kills me off is you just say deadpan and really serious. Like, Give me anything. <laughs> no. Nothing. But I'm seriously <laughs> concerned about this issue, and you think it's hilarious. No, no, no. That, her, she like, thinks her joke's funny. Your yeah, joke was yeah. very yeah. funny. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your, your joke is brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but I definitely, if I had to wee myself a little bit the whole time. <laughs> a game would not be wanting to do it in white shorts. <laughs> Sorry, that was cold. Your joke was brilliant. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh funny. That's so, I'm going to fill it out on the way home. So London. the idea to do the study yeah. 
obviously in, is that's practical experience. You've just like you've been around the sport for so long that you know that this yeah. is something that no one else is looking at. It's yeah, it's actually a bit of a <laughs> got my thunderstorm on a little bit because there's actually um, some much more intelligent woman in I think down in Cardiff is actually doing a proper PhD on this topic and got the RFU back in, Scottish rugby back in, and that kind of thing. And that came out in like December. I was waiting for you all to get like back from the World Cup so I could just roll it out in one when you're all no. back. And then M Morgan, our physio, she sent me the link and was like, I've just been sent this. And I was like, oh, my oh. thunder. Girls aren't going to want to talk about it twice. So I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but yeah, no, it is. It's a real hot topic at the moment in like, um, like female health and stuff. And I think, yeah, there's just... And there's not a lot of research done in, in female health generally. And I think actually it was a good opportunity and I had access to, you know, the, the population quite easily. So, um, so yeah, so it's something that I'm like, I'm hoping, but it's due on the 8th of March. So you girls need to hurry up and get your sponsors in, okay? <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah. TikTok. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. So, um, so yeah, no, it's, it's, um, Something I think is quite interesting. Like I said, a lot of the feedbacks come back and saying, I'd like to see, even people have said, I don't personally experience this, but I know a lot of my teammates do, and we think we should be raising awareness and physio support, SNC support, medical support around it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to shine a light on it basically and see if it's a problem. So, what do you do? More pelvic floor muscle exercise? Um, so, there's all sorts of different um, options for you. Um, I'm like Aslandia. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you can. So, it's like pelvic floor, but then that's the interesting thing because a lot of the research, again, for this population of like middle aged women that have had babies, oh, yeah, let's strengthen the pelvic floor. But, like, you think about it in our population, like, we are really strong, and the theory is that actually pelvic floor training potentially isn't actually going to be that helpful. And it might be that um, there's some um, like uh, behavioral therapy, there could be like medications, there could be like further investigations into it. It could be that we need to do some some exercises or some modifications to like how much exposure we have to like maximal effort lifting in the gym and that kind of thing. There's there's all sorts of different things that you could look at. Um, and it would be like a case by case. I don't think you could just roll it out to the whole squad of like, right, everyone, let's do your pelvic floor like we do core club. I don't think we can do like pelvic floor club. I think that'd be weird. But <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll get the response to it. Can you not let David <laughs> no, get on I won't. No, I won't. So we <laughs> have too embarrassed <laughs> to do it, I think. Core club, <laughs> baptism of fire. So it's like oh, it's seven minutes, eight yeah. minutes, like constant core. Everyone round in a circle on a mental body face. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, hard. It's real hard. It's really hard. Especially when you've got heavy legs. <laughs> yeah. Like me. Fair. Cool club. Cool club. Mm. It's something to behold. Like genuinely there's like 35 of us probably like yeah. in a circle around on the track and everyone Foster. does the same thing yeah. everyone yeah. does the same you thing all working together so the like first person to finish their gym on a monday picks the course so you've got like like eight options here like four 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 and they pick it so they always get loads of heat yeah and then but it's when they pick it and it's like no knowledge of the exercise so they yeah. do all like and there's no rotation yeah like, they do like eight exercises that are all like oh, the same thing basically and it's yeah. horrid it's six back abs yeah it's hot <laughs> It's um, cute though, you should see yeah, like, some... literally 35 people doing like double dead work <laughs> and you're like, you look awful. <laughs> it's a good one. So. What a team player. Yeah, <laughs> team building, yeah. that is finest. That's it. So um, that's quite the balancing act because that's some serious research stuff that you're doing on top of um, also juggling, you know, nothing and, major. And her placement. So she's been in the hospital as well. Yeah. So she's got all of this going on yeah, and so still putting in performances like that. that. Yeah, no, yeah, I just, I've gone, I'm actually now on like uni time. So this is actually me real like happy and relaxed. Um, because yeah, before pre Christmas, I was at Hereford. So it's like an hour from Worcester and then like 45, like I literally used to rock up to analysis and I look in bedraggled, like in some random outfit I put on at half six in the morning because that's the same one I've changed into after hospital. But I was on an acute stroke ward uh, for six weeks, um, like full time. And it was, yeah, it was class, but like, oh my God, there were some dark days, wasn't there, where I was just like, in the warm-up with the girls, and I was like, yeah, I'm here. Mentally, I probably aren't here, but just hard work. But it's, I don't know, I'm always busy, aren't I? So. She is. I'm always, like, honestly, <laughs> I don't like, know how runs in and, <laughs> and, like, but always gives 100%. Always, like, literally one of the ones that's beaming the whole way through the session, like, the positive person and everything like that. So, yeah, hats off to Ireland. What, right. what are your top tips for managing that? I say no. Say no. <laughs> <laughs> No don't things. do it in the first say, place yeah say no to it. i think that's one of the things I, I yeah i need to get better at is just sort of um yeah bit of time management but i think um i don't know there's but then equally i say that like in jest a little bit because there's a lot of cool things i've done that um you know if you did say no to you probably wouldn't get the opportunities that follow can we just add on to this mm -hmm. as well remember that time that you were renovating your house <gasps> so this is all, right this is all going on lundy's doing all of this stuff <laughs> she was also living in a shed <laughs> out the back of her house no. while she was doing her extension <laughs> like, six like so she'd be showering in like after 
Shall we, we here? Yeah, we Is have food like yeah. after training, so we'd be like, Lundy, take all the extra food, <laughs> <laughs> help this girl yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it would. Yeah, that, yeah. Like I say, I know how to do busy. I feel like that was that year where, um, yeah, me and my fella bought like a really mouldy little bungalow, and then basically just took the roof off it and took a back wall off it, and then it did a load of work to it basically. So we built in our garden like a little five by five meter box that we like it was like a sub like five a by five it five was tiny, by five yeah, was me my fella and a dog and then my entire like kitchen and you're still together <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we, yeah we are. like now was that like, during covid um no no, no it oh. wasn't no it was it was um like yeah this time last year so this time last year i was living in a in, in january garden. yeah honestly we, we moved no <laughs> yeah we moved out <laughs> no 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 the word she doesn't do things by her but the worst bit was like training was class because you could shower but there's no showers at king's own which used to break me because i was like oh like this could have been a free shower because otherwise i was i don't know I'm under this. a bucket I on a, no honestly i used to have like my washing up bucket and i just go outside uh -uh. and then like <laughs> <have> a <laughs> swim. no 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 have a little quick but leave. right can i just say you should see her house now like oh, yeah. all of the like grand designs went, like literally like i love my house i'm literally like a big housey person and i went to lundy's house and i was like I want a new house. Well, yeah. It's like perfect. No, yeah, it? It was it's not a mouldy bungalow it's anymore. Not, it is it's like, like lovely the best dry room. entertaining yeah, space. Yeah, it's a proper party house. It's proper it's party lush. house. It, no, it's, it was, yeah. It makes, like I say, talking about the shower bucket outdoor January vibe thing, that it makes that all like seem laughable now because I've got like a full on ensuite suite, which is class and you just turn the water and it comes out. And if you're still together now. Yeah, no, that's oh, well, true. Like, I mean, <laughs> me and the fella as well. Yeah, we, um, yeah, now we just don't spend, the house is big enough now to be like, oh, See you later. <laughs> you go, go off there. I've seen you for six months in a in a box. <laughs> yeah, no, busy. But like I said, and yeah. that was um yeah, during like during the uni as well. So I was like doing my masters and house building and a bit of rugby and yeah. I'm almost a little scared to ask what your New Year's resolutions are for 23. <laughs> yeah, no, so I actually have a New Year's resolution, which I'm trying to like really keep, because I'm I'm re I'm not, I'm probably a bit more like scouting this. I, I'm not like a grab my phone, put it on Instagram type girl. That's not, I'm just not. I'm just kind of like, and then I. Oh, You're should just I content. Yeah, I just got happy. Same I'm, as you. Yeah. I'd be terrible. Just content. Like I said, I'd be your Lucy Packer, basically. I'm just like, ah, fine. But it does mean that I, you know, like Tatty's birthday today, I had a little scroll to see if I could find some nice photos. I've known that girl 17 years, and we have most of our photos <laughs> of when we were 12 with horrible haircuts and bad eyebrows. <laughs> and I can't share yeah. them because they're like ter <laughs> terrible. So my actual New Year's resolution is to take more photos. Um, so that's a good one. Yeah, just like capture more yeah. things, take more like post game stuff, like a little selfie with L after the game, Cutesy. just in the changing room and stuff. Like just to try and document nice. my life a bit more because we're not going to be here forever, are we, you know, in terms of rugby and that kind of thing. So I'm just trying to be or a bit more Maud. I was going to say, or stay joined at the hip with Maud yeah, and her camera. For you, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> perfect. You see why it's important? No, it is. Yeah. Otherwise, you might go 17 years with someone and not have yeah. a single photo you yeah. can share of the two of them together. Some really bad haircuts when we were 12. It was horrid. <laughs> really horrid. We should definitely get hold of yeah, that. I was going to say, those are actually... My, some of my favourite photos of the two of you together are oh, like you when you were them. wearing those shirts that looked like they belonged to your dad. And we were... When did we meet? When we were 16, 17? We weren't even that young. Not even that young. Yeah. But still, I mean, your faces have changed. Like, <laughs> you think? Yeah. Some moves, some people's moves more than others. Oh. <laughs> that was a oh. low blow, Emily. Oh. And also... <laughs> <laughs> There's been a murder on the God. dance floor. <laughs> That is not staying in. If, that's, if that stays in, I'm not here next week. So I'll you now. No one has had more filler and Botox than me. So it's okay. Look, though. Wrinkles. Ooh. I can, at this very moment, frown. Yeah. Which doesn't happen me often. Too. Me too. Most sorry, of the time, there's sorry. no movement here. I'm not even embarrassed no, about that. You know what? I feel like I actually need some Botox because my face tells too much to somebody. Like, especially like on a hospital ward and stuff. I'll be like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel like maybe I should have some Botox. <laughs> where your face is. Yeah, it's yeah. everything. I don't have to say a lot. Speaking to people about whether you wear yourself yeah, when like, you're oh, training. Like, Whoa. <laughs> 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 where, where your face is, my professional opinion on this is it's mm. gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I need some Botox, I don't know. <laughs> I had Botox. Have you? Well, it was for my concussion. I got Botox. Like okay, fine. Little, little, it, I don't think it did anything, like, structurally, but it was to help my headaches, and I think it helped. You think you so? Look great as well. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Scars. <laughs> but flirting. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what? That can also go. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of edit in this oh, one. There's I a love lot of edit. We're collecting some brilliant <laughs> moments. I think 
we'll come back to Gloucester next week. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can come to our house. <laughs> yeah. We should definitely, <laughs> actually. No, no, we'll <laughs> film at Lundy's house and then everyone can yeah, come there. Yeah. Oh, my God, you're yeah. such a nice person. I mean, she didn't, like, bathe in a bucket outside in January for all of us to not see this. Yeah, yeah that's very true. You're welcome anytime. You're welcome anytime. You I live you. for a before uh, and after. Yeah, yeah. me too. I know. Very good. I know. Oh, I know. We're so gonna, yeah, to be fair, we will have loads because the house there was just three existing external walls and everything else came down to like plaster and oh. stuff. So there's a lot. There's a lot that we did. So wow. maybe I should. I think maybe building I should. the bed's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Your current drama. No, she did it last night. <laughs> Honestly, it took me a while. I'm not very good at that sort of stuff. I get bored. Flat pack. Yeah. I, why does it not come just pre-made? Not good. At Mo you. likes that stuff. Yeah, yeah she's actually like helped me a lot. Is she? Yeah. <laughs> I made her drawers for her the other day. Oh, cute. She's very grateful. Yeah, she had a bad day. You had a bad day, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, and she went off to see her family. She so like, by the time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is going to make Nothing. it into this episode, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, Maudie went off to see her family and yeah. had them made for when she came back. How, how clumsy are you? Quite clumsy. <laughs> like, example? Um, example. When did you example. break yourself by accident? When did you fall in a very public place? I can give you a list of some, You know, like, just say, like, you go getting on the team bus. Mm -hmm. If Maud's in front of you, it's almost guaranteed she's going to trip up one of the steps. <laughs> she's just that person. And it's... Like, try hard not to. <laughs> I do as well. I, I know, and sometimes yeah. it's just, you know. I have gotten better, though. Yeah, you've I, not been. Yeah. I was going to say, I, I don't yeah, think you've had an incident out here. Yeah. yeah. There's quite a lot of video footage of mm. Maudie, like, running back, <laughs> like, say, defensively or something into the line and, like, falling over her own feet mm. or falling <laughs> over somebody. Mm. But you've not had No one anywhere near her. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Is that is that a genetic thing? Does it run in your family <clears throat> or are you the exception to the rule? I think I'm the exception. But, but it makes you you, and I'd love that. Mm. It's very and you you genuinely don't seem all that bothered by it because it turns out you're a great rugby player. Mm. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know as long as I don't hurt myself, I'm happy. Well, Skaz was scared of everyone getting injured out there today. She was literally standing on the sideline going, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, We're not scared, but I don't... In case we affected the yeah, pod. Yeah, I was going to say, is that for the pod offer? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyone else, doesn't matter. No, I, it, I think watching is harder sometimes, yeah. especially when you know everyone. Yeah. Scotty made a tackle where... It looked like something terrible had happened. Mm. So you just keep an eye, forget where the ball's gone, and then she got up and it's fine. And I'm sure that happens all the time, but you just, I don't know, it's just concerning. The girls yeah. say that to me on the bench because, like, generally nines you get subbed. So I'm, like, stood on the bench after, and as soon as they get hit, I'm like, is she okay? Is she okay? And then, like, they get up, they're fine. They're like, Mo, will you just stop it? <laughs> like, my physio's turned around before and was like, can you just chill out a little bit? It's like, but no, mm, I agree. Mo likes to jackal. Uh, not anymore. No. I'm she's banned. not built to jackal. Yeah, you should, but so really? I was like, you need to stop doing that. Mm. No, Linny's genuinely banned. banned. You know when we brought tackle, um, jackal club in? He literally said to me, that's so you don't jackal anymore. I don't think you should tell everyone that. No, I don't Just in know, because of my ankle. Because I got hit, like, kind of in at the side a little bit, and I just crumpled. Mm. And now I've, I, I genuinely have the fear. Yeah. She really likes to protect that I was, ankle of her. I was going to say. <laughs> and we'll move on. <laughs> Seen it. You stitched me up here, haven't you? What did you, know you what do? No, I've got no idea what's going on. Oh, sorry. Do you know the chair oh. trick I do? Oh, yeah. yeah. I oh. can describe it to you. She thinks she's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> After a few drinks, and she no. stands on. Don't do it, Skaz. I'm obviously you not going to do it. She you stands the on the chair. You do not have the minerals. Puts one foot on this and topples. No, no one on the. Yeah, well, I'm not, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> one foot on one foot on the bit where your bum would be. One foot on the back and topples over. Eyeballs one of you as she does it, <laughs> and then just like lands. Lands and walks less off. than gracefully. <laughs> Smooth guys. On her feet. <laughs> you want to see it? I know, but I actually <laughs> no. It's I terrifying. No. no. But no. My, my issue is a party trick is a party trick, Your right? Your chairs were shit in my defence. <laughs> she nearly Eve. got splinters. She broke one of my chairs. On New Year's Eve, right? They just didn't move. They were too high. I've, they're I've, not made to do that. They're made to sit on. <laughs> what? Of which I now can't sit on one of them. <laughs> I get splinters at my back. You wanted new chairs, though, so I've actually helped you yeah. out and sped the process up. But my issue is, it's how did you become a professional athlete with this kind of yeah. attempt, like risk appetite? It's, it's, a, yeah. it's, it's a party <laughs> trick, right? So you generally show people uh, your party trick. That's not seen it. Everyone will get impressed. Blah blah blah. Everybody 
has seen this party trick. CB, of in my defence, <laughs> and she'll hadn't. be like, she'll be like, anyone want, anyone want it? <laughs> and everyone's like, no, Mo, stop being a knob. She's like, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's chaos. Wow, I'm never <laughs> inviting you over to my no place. No hot back scans. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I feel feel strongly about this. Here's the Alma, chair. I would never. Oh, I would never. So you need to have metal dining splinters, dining chairs. Oh yeah. And admittedly, yeah. they are an old chair. Okay. You did want new chairs. I don't know if chairs. anyone wants to zoom on this. Guys, oh, come on, because now you're painting me out as be bad. I offered to replace it, and you do want new chairs, so... I do. It's not an issue about the chair. Yeah. I just like to... Yeah. Okay. So it was bad. I had, like, a few messages to say, is your knee okay? Is your ankle okay? So, fortunately, I was able to play the Worcester game. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, because it's in this new year. <laughs> fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is why I feel like we should pack this in now because you're not no, right, now no, <laughs> spiraling <laughs> into it. Genuinely, Scazzy <laughs> came to me. She went, you've really nearly hurt yourself. Everyone has seen the trick now. Please, can you stop doing it? And I was like, okay, Scazzy, <laughs> I promise. Chat. I actually am. But gonna the stop. funny thing is I've said that to about four times previously. Have you? Yeah. Maybe not sober. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where you made yeah, the mistake. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> um, thank you for joining us, Maud. Thank you for joining us, thank Rachel. You. It was thank lovely you. to meet both of you. Um, more vlogs, please. Yes. And we will get everyone oh, yes, to fill in That'll your questionnaire. Mm -hmm. um, reach Send out to it. Rachel on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Send it some more people's way. To be fair, I have been, um, yeah. Every time I see people in the gym, I'm like, hi, sorry, I know I'm not really supposed to do this, but have you filled it out? I'm impressed. <laughs> and they're like, can you have a little wee every time yeah, someone <laughs> And here's to seeing you guys at the end of the season. Yes. 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 I'm not going to say anything more. No. I'm not going to jinx it. Just seeing us. With something shiny, is that what you well, that what No, just seeing us. Oh, just, just seeing, seeing us at the end of the season. Just seeing everyone again. And you. I can, do, I can say it. Okay. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> okay. We have been uh, the good, the scars, and the rugby with this very special episode from Gloucester Hartbury. Uh, we'll be back with more. Thanks to our partners, Vodafone. Thank you to everyone who's joined us. And uh, to Shira, our producer, and Jenna Claridge, uh, the wider team who's made it all the way out here with us uh, today. This is a Folding Pocket production.